We they committed to continue to make a do home of sports for Nigeria. Shaibu, now him talk this one. Edo say Deputy Governor Right Honorable Comrade Philip Shaibu don't talk say Edo now him the home of sports for Nigeria. Now why them go continue to support the provision of sporting facilities for sports people for the state. He talk this one for the court visit when the stakeholders of the International Cricket Council come do for government house Benin City. Shaibu wants to talk to the government, don't they create a bonga environment for sports for Edo? Now, why then they change and can't put facilities when go help sustain sports even when the administration don't end? They can't talk to them, they use sports, they fight Yamayama for the society. I can't see praise the presido for the Nigerian Cricket Federation, Dr. Oyakmata, for the bonga work when they do for cricket. We are very proud and happy to have Dr. Oyakmata as a son of the soil, an only son of the soil, as somebody that on his own is being able to give back to his state and give back to the sport he cherishes and loves the most, cricket. Uh, cricket won't have, have its footing in Edo State today, as it is now being globally recognized if not for his love and support for cricket. Uh, yes, the government for some time will recess in terms of everything, including sports. Uh, but single-handedly, he didn't allow the game of cricket to die. So I can owe to him that part of the successes we have recorded so far and the sustainability for cricket and it do becoming the the heart beat as far as cricket yeah. is concerned is attributed to uh, Dr. Oye Apata. And that is why we also celebrated him when he became the not the vice president now, he became the president of the federation because uh, uh, I, we know that something great will definitely happen because if our vice president is able to give that support to and cricket is now recognized globally, obviously as the president, you can imagine what it would turn for. That's why we were we celebrated his election as the president of the federation, and also we too decided that he has to be the chairman at the state uh, cricket. Association, so he's wearing two caps, <laughs> and it's not something common. Yeah, so for for both federal and the state to deem it fit to be the head of this sport, will tell you the level we are taking him in terms of his commitment to the growth of cricket, not only in the state but in the country. So we are so happy that uh, today. Government is no longer on recess as far as sports development is concerned. And that is why when this government came on board, we were very sure of what we wanted to achieve. We were not ready to reinvent any wheel, but we wanted to sustain what Edo State is known for. Sports, this is home of sports. Edo State is home of sports. All sports, this is the home. Uh, some, pers some state or some community or some country will say, look, we want to develop sport, we all just want to learn this sport. We in a state, we don't learn it. We, we are born into it. So that's why we pride ourselves as the home of sports, all sports. We, are, we have talented young men and women in all sports. And what we just need is the enabling environment and the right equipment and the right coaching for them to optimize their potentials. And that is what we have just come to do. We have come as a government to create that enabling environment, a safe environment, an environment where the private sector can also bring their money, knowing fully well that the, their money is safe and they can achieve the purpose of investing their money developing young men and women, growing the sports, and having this talent discovered. And 
we have to do this through policies and changing the legal frameworks because we discover that if the governor has passion for sports and the deputy governor has passion for sports, they are not there forever. They are not uh, traditional rulers. They are tenured. <laughs> they are tenured. So for us not to return back to the era where government is out and the system is collapsed, we needed to follow with policies and legal frameworks. And that is why we discovered that we needed to change what we used to have as sport council to what we now call sports commission. It's not a change in nomenclature or change of name. No, it's change of all its policies. We are standardizing sports in line with global practice. And we are making sportmen and women to recognize that they are professionals and they must act like professionals. And our coaches must act like professional coaches, not sportmen that are civil servant or coaches that are civil servant, no. So we are professionalizing sports. And that is the only way private sector can actually trust and come in to invest their money. And interestingly, we want to be first in everything. Because if we pride ourselves at the home of sports, then we have to be first in all sports. And we must be the factory that produce <laughs> this talent, we must produce this talent for the country and for the world. And, and we are also using sport to fight a lot of uh, social vices like illegal migrations and also uh, unemployment, drug abuse. We are using it to fight a lot of old societal vices to have a society that it's not only egalitarian, but a society that is safe for everybody. Dr. Oyak Matarim, the president for the Nigerian Cricket Federation, come talk say cricket, now one of the fastest sports for Nigeria, sake of the good work when them they do for Edo State, them now win social impact program award, sake of waiting them use cricket do for internally displaced people's camp for Edo State. It's talk say them they launch the grass tough cricket for Yoba girls and then be the only high performance center for the whole of Northwest Africa when they focus on female cricket. Nigerian cricket has one of the fastest developed, fastest developing. And I want to say that 80% at least of why that recognition has taken place is because of the good work we've been doing in Edo State. And that has happened because the platform established for us to try has been clearly set by government and two um, structures we've established, including setting up of the State Sports Commission. Um, it was last to note that in ben, just before the Birmingham Commonwealth Games, the Nigerian Cricket Federation received a global award on social impact for the work we are doing under the Niger Kids Cricket Platform, but for the work we specifically did in the Edo State as part of our grassroots development by going to the IDP camp in Benin here. So, first prize, Global Award Recognition for Social Impact. <laughs> so, a lot of investment is taking place by ICC, the International Cricket Council, as I said. More of that investment is likely to happen. Nigeria has been identified as a major place for that development. But when the Nigerian story is being told from time to time, they know and hear about Edo states. We also know that your excellency, we're proud and humble that a few years ago, you actually helped us with the formal opening of the top weekends in Edo Boys High School. We'll also be visiting there today where about 500 kids are waiting under our grassroots development program that we do on a consistent basis. So every year, Edo State turns out about, introduce about 30 to 50,000 people, kids to the game of cricket on an annual basis through this structure and platform that we're going to be seeing today. It's not just about development, it's a structured pathway 
that we've seen based on your leadership when you came in on, on board and you had that sustained partnership and support. So arguably, the best cricketers in the country today in every category and this based on statistics, they are members of the Edo State team. And also with females, we are setting records. The only Nigerian female player to have scored a century in T20, in any form of the game, ever, only, and she actually did it twice. In 2019 or so, as a 14-year-old, under the PwC Under-17 Championship, this girl scored 100 runs, and that was the first time it was recognized. And very recently, about three weeks ago, less than three weeks ago, she actually did it again at the international stage for the year. So, our very own Lucky Pine. So, this program, it really shows that what you believe in in terms of development works across board. And today, I can safely say that Edo State contributes at least 20% of the national team athletes in all categories of the game. The senior team, male, senior team, female, under 19 team, male, for boys, and the under 19 team for girls, we have 20 to 25 percent of the people representing the country who are adult state athletes. And this is due to the fact that we started this strategic development initiative supported by um, is that like excellency the government um, and the executive? William Greenwhite, who will be the general manager of development for the International Cricket Council, controversial salute load give the government for Edo State for the Ogbonga work when they do for cricket for Edo and for Nigeria. I'm honour to be here at what I'm told is the heartbeat of Nigeria cricket. Um, and it's wonderful that we have some players, players um, attending this meeting as well, I think. Something that we all aspire to as sports administrators is to put the players first. And I think at a meeting like this, it's wonderful to actually have some players here to represent the sport and remind us of, of why we do what we do. And um, so not only great to have the players, but players of such a high calibre and quality is, as well as is wonderful. So it's um, a credit to the state and to Nigeria cricket. Um, as the president said, Nigeria, we are a membership of 108 members. Nigeria Cricket Federation is one of our fastest growing members. Um, it's a country that we're incredibly excited about and one of the main reasons for this visit is to explore, well, two things. First is to learn from Nigeria uh, about this extraordinary growth and how we can apply those lessons in other countries around the world. Um, and secondly, to better understand how we can improve provide better support to the country so that it can achieve its objectives and, and go to the next level of, of growth. Um, and a big part of that is what you're doing here in, in Edo State. And when we were discussing the visit, um, we were absolutely adamant that we uh, visited here to learn from yourselves the support that you're providing to Nigeria cricket and again to see how we might be able to replicate that around the world. So I'm very grateful for, for that. Um, cricket is a sport of partnerships. We talk a lot about um, batting partnerships and, and team partnerships and um, that is as true on the field as it is off the field and there's no way that our sport can grow without meaningful partnerships with government and I think what you have created here both through the high provision of high performance facilities but just as importantly uh, access to school um, access to schools so that we can run school programs is a fantastic model um, for government, national sporting organisation partnerships. Um, I'm very eager to learn more about this relationship that you have um, so again that we can apply those lessons around, around the world. Um, so I'd like to thank you and your government for the support that you provide cricket. We look forward to learning more about this partnership and I hope that this um, 
that this visit is part of an, uh, an ongoing and growing relationship between Edo State and Nigeria Cricket Federation. I'd like to thank you. Omo Aluke Ajakaye, TMC TV News. Don't forget to your PVC and your power. Not tell I'm giving any politician on election day.